What is up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are checking out not one, but two guitars built by Morgan Electrics. Now, if you're not familiar with Morgan Electrics, you might be more familiar with a guy named Joe Morgan who builds Morgan amplifiers. He builds really nice amps. If you're not hip to those, just look them up and, and you'll find out really quick what I'm talking about. Now, Joe's a great amp builder, but he also loves guitars. And uh, from what I can tell, he likes Strat and Tele style guitars. So he teamed up with his brother, Noel, to uh, start this, uh, this building adventure. Uh, building guitars for Joe, even though he's great with amps, the guitars are a bit out of his uh, wheelhouse. So he reached out to a guy named Grover Jackson. Now Grover Jackson, in my humble opinion, is one of the legendary builders in the industry. So he is uh, building these guitars. And, uh, you know, needless to say, they're good guitars, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm just going to demo them and talk about them and, and let you hear them. But speaking of Joe knowing what he likes, he, he's not a builder, but he knows what he wants. And from what I can tell, he likes kind of that mid 60s and more specifically like 64 spec uh, guitars. So uh, let's start with this MVS Pro. Um, this one is a lightweight uh, alder body. Uh, it's rosewood maple neck. Uh, the the uh, radius, or I shouldn't say radius, but the, the back shape of the neck is, is what I would consider kind of a, a chunky C, but I don't want to go that far, but it's a little bit bigger than like a traditional C uh, shape would be. It's 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 pretty comfortable. Uh, the nut is a bone nut. It's inch and 11 sixteenths. Frets are the 6105, uh, I believe, medium jumbos. And then all the hardware on it is distressed hardware. So it's the Goto uh, 510 two-pole bridge. Now that would be a departure from like a 64 spec bridge. But at the end of the day, these just work better, especially when it comes to things staying in tune. So that's what's happening there. It's a good sounding bridge. Uh, the tuners are also uh, Goto uh, aged or distressed tuners with the button uh, knobs, which I really dig. And uh, uh, they are locking, which is nice, especially with a, uh, with a tremolo. Uh, this guy weighs in uh, it's got to be under eight pounds. Um, I, I'll have to look on the website because I'll, I'll bet you the weight's there. But it's it's at definitely under eight pounds. So for an alder guitar, it's a it's a really nice weight. It's pretty resonant. Uh, three spring trim on the back, which is pretty uh, pretty traditional. Uh, what else? Oh, now pickups are once again, as I mentioned before, uh, sixty four spec pickups. We'll get into how uh, they sound. As far as I know. Uh, they must be uh, wired in-house, uh, so that's really cool. Now, I, I could be wrong, but from what I can tell, uh, they're wired uh, in-house, uh, 64 spec, and they do they do sound really good. We'll get into how they sound uh, in the demo. Uh, the checking on this guitar is really nice. It's obviously been aged and, uh, and dinged up, but all of the checking, uh, the yellowing on this, it's kind of a, almost an Olympic white, but it's, it's yellowed. Uh, really well like that's that's kind of hard to do but uh, they did a really good job on that the back of the neck is is more that kind of worn kind of raw feel uh, feels really good oh and uh, the radius speaking of like 60 spec um, for me I'm I really like a, a seven and a quarter radius but it's almost useless as you start climbing the neck. So this one is actually compound radius. So it's uh, seven four to uh, nine and a half. So that's really comfortable. The action feels great on this. That's kind of a subjective thing. It's like that's to each his own as to height. I would say um, it's it's comfortably low. I would probably raise it, but uh, but it feels fine. I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. This isn't my guitar, and. Uh, uh, you know, when I look at fit and finish, all the things that I look for um, are nice and tight on, especially neck joints. Um, I don't like to see big gaps or anything weird there, but you're not going to you're not going to see something like that on, you know, like a Grover guitar. But OK, so that's uh, that's the Strat. Let's uh, let's talk about the uh, Tele style guitar. This one's called MVT. This one is is really light. And, and this one is also a 64 spec uh, guitar, uh, lightweight 
ash uh, body, um, all maple neck, maple fret board, uh, same frets, uh, same nuts, same keys, but these aren't locking. This one has the Goto uh, in tune bridge on it that, that works and sounds great. Uh, this guitar is really acoustically just loud and resonant. The neck shape on it, I would say it's, I don't wanna say it's it's almost like a C, but with a little bit more shoulder. It's, uh, it's really comfortable, whatever it is. Um, what else on this guy? Um, and this finish is nice. I guess this would be considered like a, was it butterscotch? I'm assuming, but it's kind of the same thing on this. It's, it's obviously been aged and the back of the neck is raw, just like on the, uh, on the other guitar. I want to say this one, this one's got a way in it, like maybe a little over six pounds. It's really, really light. The pickups, uh, are also, as far as I know, wound in house. They are wound to a 64 spec. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm I'm missing anything on this. It's a Telecaster, so it's not <laughs> Tele style guitars. There's not a lot that I have to go over on it. Um, so yeah, without uh, further ado, let's uh, let's goof around with uh, both these guitars. I'll let you hear them and and uh, and see what you guys think. Okay, let's check out the MVS uh, first. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I was just kind of noodling. I turned on a little bit of overdrive, but I also wanted you to hear the guitar just clean straight uh, through the amp. These pickups sound really good. They're they're definitely vintagey. They uh, vintagey. They sound vintage. Uh, they do remind me of like a '60s Strat. I used to have a '63 that I really loved. And uh, I will say, just in my opinion, these pickups are a little bit uh, warmer. Uh, they do have a, a bit of a sag or compression to them that feels really nice. Seems like the balance.
between front and back is great. And of course, it's, it's really nice that it's actually wired so that I can roll off just the bridge pickup tone. That's a big deal. Especially if I have like an overdrive on, you know, even a mild overdrive. I may not want that to be as bright. But at the same time, if I roll it off on the pedal, then maybe my neck position gets too dark. So in this case, I can just turn the tone down a little bit. Yeah, so the balance is really nice. Uh, the frets feel really good. They're polished and super slick. Uh, this neck shape is definitely what I would consider, and I probably mentioned it, but it more kind of a like a chunky C, maybe like a little bit bigger uh, C. It's not like a like a jumbo, you know. It's not like this big neck, but it does have kind of a chunky kind of C kind of feel to it. Uh, I definitely dig how uh, resonant the guitar just feels just sitting in my lap. Uh, that's always a plus. It's fairly loud acoustically. Um, intonates great. Tremolo feels really good on it. looks cool. The weight is really nice. I like the shape of the headstock. I definitely dig the vintage keys. I always tend to lean towards those kind of vintage kind of round button keys. Uh, dig the fact that they lock. I mean, I've been through all this in the talking points anyway, so I'm just kind of uh, uh, reiterating. The main point is, is to let you guys hear it. Like I said, feel-wise, these pickups, uh, yeah, in my opinion, they're a little bit warmer. They're not dark, but they're a little bit warmer, feel a little bit more spongy. This neck is definitely kind of a, a like I said, a, a bigger kind of C feel. Uh, like I said, frets are great. Uh, I do like the radius, the, the seven and a quarter to nine and a half is cool because it does kind of retain that vintage feel, but you still have a little bit more playability. I would say in general on this guitar, I would probably raise the action on it, but that's just for me. But that's the nice thing about you know a quality instrument is you set it up for you. It's a personal thing. Uh, for me, I'd probably raise the action a little bit, but the way it comes stock is really uh, is really comfortable. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's switch to the telly and see how that sounds. Okay, so now let's check out uh, the MVT. Thank you. 
Okay, so cool. Same thing, just wanted to kind of noodle around, let you hear the guitar just basically clean and then turn on a little bit of uh, dirt so you can hear it that way. Because I realized uh, actually in that performance, I never did a clean sound with this. It was all uh, with the gain or a, a dirt box on. I could just kind of you know dig in but yeah i realized i didn't really do any clean sounds i did on the that mvs but not on this so anyways that's how i did that i'll shut that back off so yeah this thing feels uh really good same thing i i really like the uh the seven and a quarter to nine uh feel it's cool i think it's actually seven and a quarter to nine and a half uh the body feels uh really light this guitar is very uh it's very resonant uh, the neck is just super comfortable. I would say it kind of falls into the kind of the C shape, but maybe not quite as meaty as that that MVS was. Um, but yeah, nice, uh, comfortable neck. These pickups are definitely vintagey. They they do have a little bit uh, more kind of top, especially in that in the bridge position. My trick, I, I like how the tone rolls off, rolls off because that's one of my tricks on a Telecaster is I like to back the tone off just a little bit. You know, sometimes I want all that chime up there. But usually around right there is great. And then just by habit, if I go back to neck, I'll just roll it back up. Yeah, these pickups, uh, they feel a little bit... Um, quicker, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, but they they do have a little bit of squish as well. I would say on both, both these guitars, because they're not my guitars, so I'm not going to adjust them. It's I'm demoing them. They're factory instruments, um, you know, custom-built guitars. But I, I would say on both guitars, I would probably uh, raise the pickups up a little bit. And uh, just like on this guitar, the action feels really great, but it's a little low for me. But, you know, as I said with the uh, the other guitar, it's like that's easily tweaked in. Quality guitar, set it up the way you want. Yeah, what else can I hit on this? It's like, you know, I covered everything in the talking points as far as what's on the guitar. So the main thing is just letting you guys uh, hear how it sounds. I mean, obviously, you can't be here to play it, so I can try and describe that. Like I said, the neck feels good, a little, you know... It's definitely, I would say, a C, you know, maybe it's got a little bit of shoulder there, but it's super, uh, super comfortable. Frets uh, feel slick, just like they did on the uh, on the MVS. Uh, this guitar intonates great. You know, if it's if it's out of tune, it's because I monkey pawed it. Yeah, it intonates really good.
I mean, with the action that low, it definitely feels quick. Or I should say, just kind of slick, you know? is good between the three pickups. The neck sounds really good. It's not too dark. Middle position's nice. Yeah, that Precision sounds great. And like I said, you know, bridge sounds good. I give it some dirt. So that is the uh, MVT. We've checked about the MVS. Um, please let me know. I always love hearing from you guys about what you think of these guitars and how they sound. And as always, I really appreciate you guys. Appreciate. Appreciate you guys watching my videos. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one.